Hey, mathematicians, this is Mrs. Shopper. We're coming back with a review of checking solutions. Um, and so we did this last quarter to make sure that we were feeling good about our answers and we knew what we were working on. And so um, right now we're going to check solutions. So here we go. What we're saying is this is the equation right here. This is the answer somebody got. So we want to know, does 5 make this true? So is 10 times the quantity negative 4 plus 5, so I'm putting that 5 in for y, and I'm actually putting it in for both y's, is that the same as 2 times 5? That's what I'm checking. Is it the same as? So is 10, the sa 10 times 1 the same as 10? Because 10 equals 10, we can say that it is a solution, okay? Um, the second one, let's take a look. I'm going to change up the color of my pen. That one's getting a little dull for me. All right, so what we're saying is we have the equation negative 7 plus 11g equals 9 minus 5g. We want to know, hey, is 2 a solution? So is negative 7 plus 11 times 2, the same as 9 minus 5 times 2. Because I'm going to substitute 2 in for both of the g's. So is negative 7 plus 22 the same as 9 minus 10? Is 15 the same as negative 1? And the answer is no. So that is not a solution, okay? Now, when you're doing your solving your equations, just like we did in unit three, I need you to check your work. Like, I need you to be checking your work. That is part of this process. When you do that, I just need to see this first line. That's all I need to see. If you need to type the rest in your calculator, I'm totally cool with that. But when you're going through equations, this is your way to know, hey, I got it, or I should probably ask Ms. Shopper for some more help. So make sure that you're checking solutions when you do this, okay? Let's try this last one, and then we're going to get into solving equations with variables on both sides. All right, here we go. Um, we think that the solution is 1, so we're going to check to see if that's right. Is 1 half times the quantity 12 times 1 minus 4, the same as 14 minus 10 times 1. Is 1 half of 12 minus 4 the same as 14 minus 10? Is half of 8 the same as 14 minus 10? 4 equals 4. So yes, it's a solution, okay? So it is a solution. So we need you to be using those checks. That's a great way for you to be able to know if you're right. Again, all we need to see on your paper is, is that first line in each of these cases. That's it. We're not asking you to show all those steps, okay? So here we go. We are going to be solving equations. And a reminder that solving equations is sick. We simplify, we isolate, and we check. We reverse the order of operations. We go from Gemdas to sad Meg, right? We're trying to solve these equations. We want to know what X equals. My girls are over there laughing. All right, we're going to see if I can make it through this. Okay, so we're going to be reversing those order of operations. The difference now is that there's going to be variables on both sides. Leading up until now, we've always had variables on one side. And so when we go about solving it, it's going to add an extra step or two. And there's still a lot of familiarity of what we did in Unit 3. So here we go. I'm going to go through three problems with you and then give you some time to work. So... When we look at this first equation, I've got 8 plus 5c equals 7c minus 2. Both sides are already simplified. I can't combine any other terms. So now what I need to decide is which side I want my variables on. 
And honestly, it doesn't matter. They can be on the left, they can be on the right. It's your call. I'm looking at this and I'm gonna be like, hey, let's put them on the left. That means I need to cancel 7C from both sides. 7C minus 7C is zero. 5C minus 7C is minus 2C. So eight minus 2C equals negative two. Then this looks just like what we did in unit three. I wanna work on getting that C by itself. So I need to peel away all the numbers that aren't by it. So I'm gonna start by subtracting eight because eight minus eight is zero. I'm left with negative two C equals negative two minus eight is negative 10. And I undo multiplication by dividing by negative two. A negative divided by a positive is, or negative divided by a negative is positive. So C equals five. Now to check it, I'm gonna go put that back in. Is eight plus five times five the same as seven times five minus two? Is eight plus 25 the same as 35 minus two? And the answer is yes, they're both 33. So I have the correct answer. So look at the next one. I have variables on both sides. I wanna get them on the same side. I'm gonna subtract three W from both sides. Fortunately, I didn't have to do anything to simplify first. So I got my variables on one side now. Now I'm ready to go. I'm gonna divide both sides by four. W equals one half. Now, a common mistake here is people see two and four and they're like, oh, it's two. But this is where the check comes in as being super helpful. So is three times one half plus two the same as seven times one half? So is 1.5 plus two the same as 3.5? The answer is yes and I have the correct answer. So I'm going to take this and shrink this down a little bit. Now I have a little bit more room to work on the right. One more and then it's practice time, here we go. This one is a little different than the first two because I need to simplify that right side. I need to get the parentheses gone. I need to distribute. So eight S minus 10, three times six is 18 minus three times two S is six S. All right, so that's that simplify part. If you wanna add up, go ahead and do that. It's a personal preference, not required on my part, All right? Now I decide which side I want my variables on. So I'm going to add six S to both sides. So they're on the left side. Does it matter if they're on the left or right? Not at all. So I have 14 S plus negative 10 equals 18. I'm gonna undo subtracting 10 by adding 10 to both sides. So 14 S is equal to 28. I'm gonna undo times 14 and S equals two. And again, checking your work is so key. I just cannot stress that enough. Is eight times two minus 10 the same as three? times six minus two times two. Put this up here, there we go. Um, and so 16 minus 10 is the same as, wait a minute, what did I miss? Oh, it's two times two. I should probably fix that. Two times two, there we go. And the answer is yes. See, I had to double check, make sure it was all right. So now is your time to work. Um, we will touch base in the next lesson. Take care.